in various cities across this country, people are demanding justice after seeing a defenseless man die under the knee of a man with authority. As a result, people are angry and exercising the First Amendment right to protest and publicly air their grievances. On this, I have no issue with. Time will tell how this will happen and what that's going to look like. But what breaks my heart is seeing the evil, the hate, the vitriol. Now how should we as Christians, as born again believers, react or respond to the injustice that occurred and also what we've been seeing on TV and on social media? What we can do is pray persistently and ceaselessly. Whether it be for justice, or for change, or for peace, or for all three. Now if you think that sounds naive, if you think that sounds impractical, or it's ineffectual, then you don't know God, or the power of prayer. But if you do know Him, then you'll agree with the words found in 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 12. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and His ears are open to their prayer. Let me say this one last thing before I move on. As a believer, you have every right to go out there and protest and to also share your grievances. And I, and I hope that while you'll do that, that you'll do it with a heart of love and compassion and, and not participate in the hate. But let me say this. You'll be more effective on your knees in prayer than on your knees in front of a police line.